the, the two key words that I always use are essential and optimal. Essential meaning that we are only using the minimum component level that is required to reach the stated performance goals of our product. Not a single piece more. And the second component to that is optimal, which means that whatever we have defined as being essential has to work together in the most optimal way. It needs to be all tuned together. So now we have the standardized platform under these essential and optimal uh, design principles. And we can go and compare apples to apples. We can see how the product uh, runs and operates over a month, over a year, over five years, over 10 years. And we collect all this data. And we now take this data. And with the help of our IO uh, applied intelligence uh, uh, group out of San Francisco, we crunch these numbers and we look for trends. We look for information within this data set that will help us to drive the efficiency and the effectiveness of the product over time. An example would be to look at the, the power draw of an air handling unit. If the power draw of the air handling unit increases over time, this could be an indication that at the most basic level, a filter might be at the end of its lifetime and it needs to be exchanged it could indicate that something is wrong with the motor and we, uh, in the near future, have to expect that we need to change one of the drives in one of these air handling units. So it really helps us to look into the future and take preventive action before an event occurs to make sure that we have a reliable product that provides 24-7 service level to the, the customers.